Hey guys, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go ahead and make um, totaling columns and rows in Excel a uh, quick way to add up numbers. Um, also, we're going to go through uh, actually multiplying numbers and showing those. And uh, maybe we'll even get into averaging numbers as well. So, uh, let's get right into it. I have the sheet I made for employee uh, weekly hours. So that John, Max, Greg, and so on. Their hourly wage is here and their hours worked is here and we need totals for each one of these so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some equations that multiply these numbers together when we're creating an equation all we do is we click where we want the equation to take place we hit the enters key that starts the equation now we're going to select the cell just by left clicking on it then i'm using shift 8 to create an asterisk which is this little star here it's the symbol for uh, multiplication in excel and then I'm going to click on the next cell that I want to multiply. So it's saying B3, which is B3, just like a battleship, times C3. I'm going to hit Enter, and that executes the calculation. And you see up here, this cell contains the calculation, but when you look at it here, it just shows the actual result of the calculation. Now we're going to copy and paste this um, calculation into these cells below so that's control C and then that copies it and then select the cells you want to put it in and hit control V and that will copy the calculation into these cells here um, one other way to do it would be to right click and copy it's a little bit slower and you could select all the cells hypothetically and paste it in there. You get the same thing. Or the fastest way to do it in Excel, they, uh, they give you this little square in the bottom right of a cell um, that lets you try to copy over using their algorithm. Uh, and they try to guess at what you want that cell to have. And that works great for um, summing and uh, multiplication and dates and things like that. Now, um, so we've multiplied these numbers here, so we know what our weekly uh, cost is for these employees. Now, we don't know the total number of hours that was spent, so we're going to hit auto sum on this. And it's saying, is this what you want to sum? We're saying yes, so we're going to hit enter. So it's 178 total hours. And then we're going to auto sum this as well. And that gives us $4,830. So... We're going to look at this one more time, and we're going to do it a little different way. Um, if you're using a different version of Excel, or you don't see this auto sum button, it could be because your window's too small. As it sizes down, things start to disappear. This is what the symbol looks like for it, and when it gets even smaller, that ends up disappearing. So make your window bigger if you don't see it, or if you want to know the, cal the actual equation, you're going to type equals sum open parentheses and then you can select your range by just holding left click and dragging and then close parentheses and press enter there you go we've summed all that together now if we wanted to figure out like what the average wages we pay let's say we could uh we could put it right here let's say let's just say uh, we'll just put it right here. So we're going to say this equals the total number of hours, or I'm sorry, the total uh, the total cost divided by the number of hours. So the effective wage we're paying overall is $27 an hour. Now, if you wanted to change this into a currency format, it's very easy to do. You just click on the cell, and you click this dollar sign up here, and you can do the same with all these hourly wages and the totals because they represent dollars. So uh, we've gone over how to multiply cells and show the result, how to copy equations, and also how to total uh, rows and uh, total columns as well. We also touched on um, one way to quickly average, um, find an average number uh, based on input. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We make these videos for you guys, so if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for us. 
and uh, let us know we're doing a good job. If you hated it, give us a thumbs down. If you loved it, give us a thumbs up. I appreciate it.